The first stroke we like to introduce you is the horizontal stroke. We write it from left to right. It's a stroke and it's also a character. We pronounce it as E, E. You know, it's the first character that Chinese kids learn at school. Guess, what does it mean? Xiaoling, mm -hmm. is it the E, the one we yes. studied? Very good. But I don't understand. What does mean the second, the third and the fourth character? Very good question. It's Yi Wan Tian Pin. Yi Wan Tian Pin. It means one bowl of dessert. Oh, then if I understand well, Yi means one. Mm -hmm. One means bowl. Uh -huh. Tian Pin means dessert. Yes, exactly. Hmm, I want to try E1. Hmm, let's go. So, one horizontal strokes means one, two horizontal strokes means two, three strokes means three, four strokes means... Wait, wait, wait. Chinese people are smart. They will not write 100 with a hundred strokes. These rules apply for one, two, three, but after that, it changes, and we will learn it later. Hey, mm -hmm. Xiaoling. Yes. Is it the character two? Exactly. We pronounce it as R, R. And pay attention to the length of the, these two strokes. The second one on the bottom should be always longer than the first one. It's for the reason of beauty. Then can you explain me uh -huh. this restaurant's full name? What yes. does it mean? Actually, the first character, Dian means restaurant. The second one, xiao, means little, small. And the third one is two, r. So we put them together. Little two in the restaurant. It means the server in the restaurant. It's an ancient term. But I heard about xiao san, uh, is it? Little three? So mm -hmm. that may mean uh -huh. the little woman servant? Hmm, you have a very good imagination, but unfortunately, no. Actually, xiao san is a very popular term today in China. It means the third person in the relationship. So, it's your husband's mistress. Oh, how be careful next time. Mm. Look, now I'm writing the character two. So, two strokes from left to right from top to bottom. Mm, good. Nice. Two. Ah. Then I imagine that the character three has the same logic. That's right. You see, we write each character in an imaginary square. And to look beautiful, we should keep every character balanced. For this character, Sun, we start to write the first stroke on the top from left to right. Then the second stroke in the middle, shorter than the first one. Lastly, the third stroke, the longest on the bottom. Beautiful. <laughs>